Oh boy. It's winter out. I want to go swimming. But it's winter out. Got my hat on. Got my shoes on. Should be enough to keep the nip out of the air, right? Let's go have some fun. Jump in. Oh my god, is that some cold, uh, cold water. <laughs> Well, I opened the mail and I got a new mess. That's pretty cool. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Outset Island. Welcome back to another travel log. And welcome back to the day. I don't know what day it is. Yeah, I kind of lost track. So I, I'm still going to number them and the travel log on the videos. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to remember them at this point. I want to go check out the campsite. I want to see if we actually have a visitor or not today, which we don't. Didn't expect to. I uh, should have one soon, though, which will be exciting. Uh, I need to get some money together today because I want to start building some plots of land so we can do some villager hunts as soon as tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Time to hunt down some money, guys. Stay tuned. Look at that. We're getting lucky. We'll be able to have the Mabel sisters come in very, very soon. That's really cool. Sure, what's up, Mabel? Oh, thank you. You see, I wanted to ask you about a location for the store that we're thinking of opening. Thanks to you, we've gained a lot of customers on this island and can't wait for me to come and come here peddling. So I've been thinking with my sister about opening a proper store right here on the island. So today I came to chat with Tom Nook and we had a great conversation. He wants, he was all like, we have some materials left over from building Nook's cranny. All that must be done then is to select an appropriate location, yes? Oh, and the perfect individual to help you find that location would be Keldin, yes? Hmm, yes. You know, because I have nothing better to do. So I figured I'd just keep doing the traveling, peddling thing until I ran into you again, and that's now. Oh, jeez, I've just been rambling on and on, haven't I? Sorry, I'm pretty excited about all this. Anyway, my sister and I would feel better opening this shop with the help of someone from Tom Nook Trusts. So how about it, Keldon? Can you be our location scout? Yeah, sure thing. Seriously, oh, you're a total lifesaver. All right, then. Let me give you this Taylor construction kit. That'll be great. Just set it up wherever you want. Uh, that's great. Can I buy something first, though? Uh, what's on sale? That's what I'm curious about. Um, denim jacket. Uh, basketball shoes. Nothing really too good that I'm going to actually spend money on right now. So, thank you. I'm going to go find a place to set this up. So Drago gave me a welcome to the island thing, uh, like a housewarming gift, but he's, or she's the one that just moved in, so why, why am I getting the housewarming gift? I mean, thank you, I'll definitely take it, but, you know, you're the noob newbie. Oh, it's the shell stool, cool, awesome. Me and my wife are looking long and hard to find these. Uh, it's cool to have it now. But the reason we were looking hard to find those is because there is a cool DIY I want to show off to you guys that involves the shelf stool. Uh, so keep an eye out for that video. Our shelf stool. Shell stool. Uh, keep an eye out for that video because there's some really cool stuff you can do with it. Yeah, I know that's an annoying spot right there in front of the tree. We'll take care of the tree. Probably not today, so it's probably going to annoy me for like a month <laughs> coming on, but we'll see. Um, the next thing I need to do is I need to get 3,000 bells so we can get the wetsuit, uh, and then I need 10,000 more bells in order to start building, uh, plots of land. Finally, something with some blankets to sleep on at night. Let's go ahead and buy that. As you can see, 70,000 bells. I did pretty good. Uh, I don't want to tell you guys what I sold because I know some of you won't like it, but I sold seven gold nuggets. What? You sold all those gold nuggets? Yes, I did. I didn't need them, so I went ahead and just got rid of them. Uh, let's go ahead and buy the wetsuit here, and we'll go exploring in the ocean once again. Have some fun. That should be great. Our campsite is most impressive. I'm already getting inquiries and applications from tourists who want to stay here. It won't be long until we start getting some guests. 
When we have a guest, a tent will go up at the campsite, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Even though we weren't able to officially start business at the campsite yet, what we need is for visitors to be completely wowed by the wonders of life on our island. I'd appreciate anything you can do to help improve the island. Yes, yes, do some weeding, plant some flowers, place some outdoor decorations to enhance the scenery. Yeah, I can probably go about doing that at the very least. Cardboard boxes, don't need any of that. Uh, so we're probably going to get a camper within the next few days, which is great. And getting 300 Nook Miles just for showing up now is great as well. So what I want to do is I want to redeem the Nook Mile wetsuit. I know it's a waste of bells at this point for just buying the one for 3,000. But I'm going to say this one looks so much better than the striped one. Uh, so with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it anyway. So we can't build homes yet. we got to wait for a camper to show up. A bit disappointing, but you know. Is what it is. Hopefully we can start building homes by the end of this episode. That would be great. So in the next episode, we can go ahead and start doing villager hunts. I'm excited for that. Hope you guys are as well. It's almost the 4th of July, by the way. Very exciting. Happy 4th of July, everybody. If it's past that after watching this, hope you guys had a great and safe day. See y'all soon. Oh boy. It's winter out. I want to go swimming, but it's winter out. Got my hat on got my shoes on should be enough to keep the nip out of the air right let's go have some fun jump in oh my god is that some cold uh cold water <laughs> i can only imagine how cold this is like this villager's got to be suffering from some like hypothermia but what i'm curious about is if there's anything set to certain times I'm completely submerged under the water during the winter like that can't be good uh, but yeah, is there going to be anything unique I'm going to find here? This is, I got an octopus. That's pretty cool. Um, but let's see, is the octopus regulated to certain times of the year? That's what I'm curious about here. And it's all year long. I wonder if everything here is all year long. Uh, because if it is, that would be a bit disappointing. It just means you would go through and find this stuff very, very quick. Uh, but here's another one. Let's go ahead and see. And dive down. I really do like the swimming update. Like, I know it didn't add a whole lot. What the heck is this? Some seaweed. I went down there for seaweed? What kind of weirdo am I? I could have got that on a fishing pole. You know, if real life is of any indication. Oh, seaweed is a seasonal item. It's only not available February and March, which is actually a little bit weird. Uh, seaweed's pretty much available all year round, like, from my experiences anyway, but hey, I'll take it. Uh, but yeah, I I'm glad that they added this. It adds some more, like a little bit of freshness to the game. It doesn't really feel like it uh, added a whole lot, but we're also getting another one in March. Let's build a snowman while we're at it. Well, I'm pretty sure I screwed this one up. This is going to be a very big snowman. Oh boy, let's see. Still can't even get them together. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to get yelled at by this one. He's going to be like, I'm fat! Why did you do? Oh, he's going to be very big. Very, very big. I wonder how big you can actually make these things. Eh, he's not too bad. He said so close. I mean, 90% you know, I'll, I'll take a 90% when I thought it was going to be obscenely large. Uh... Man, I really need to get the lead out of my butt and start getting these fossils dug up. I haven't dug up any fossils yet. Really need to. I'm just starting to pile up. Uh, let's go donate some stuff to Blathers. Hey, haven't talked to this guy yet. This is pretty new. That's exciting. Let's go ahead and get a screenshot of that. I'm sure you guys have already seen Pascal. I have not. It's my first time seeing him. I did do the quick video showing him off, but it's nice to be able to give you guys some stuff to discover as well with the new update. Hey man, about that scallop of yours, can I have it? You want my scallop? Sure, I, I guess I can always find another scallop. Whoa, thanks for your generosity, man. Okay. Since you were cool about the scallop, I left you a cool recipe in return. The pearls you need for that recipe are rare, but you can sometimes find them on the ocean floor. I keep my eyes open for them too, and I might even trade you for a scallop if you find one. Forget give and take. This is called give and give. That's how we all win, you dig? Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. There are ev They say every writer needs an editor. 
But who's editing all the Skyriders, man? Wrap your noodle around that. Okay. Yep, today is a good day. So I guess Pascal just takes your scallops when you find them. It's a bit disappointing because I do need to find a new scallop now. Oh, uh, wait, he's still swimming up here. Can I talk to him? Oh, he's swimming out of bounds. That's disappointing. So we can't even talk to Pascal after he goes away. Pretty cool. What recipe did he give us? That's another thing to go ahead and see. Mermaid screen. So there's some interesting designs that you can get through this as well. That's cool to know. Um, and we unlocked a Nook Mile unlockable. Where is it? You otter know. If you meet a laid back fellow... If you meet a laid back fellow floating in the sea, consider sharing some of your scallops with them. You never know what you might learn in return. And a little gift never hurts either. Well... Unfortunately, I have to find another scallop now because the scallops are, well, a museum item. And I just gave my first one away. I probably shouldn't have. I was really debating on it, but I wanted to let you guys know what actually happens when you find the scallop. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to go ahead and try to replace my scallop. See you guys here shortly. Now let's see how much a little bit of the deep sea diving... Oh, I forgot to donate that. Oh, well. Let's see what a few sea cucumbers, a sea slug, and a sea anemone actually sells for. I'm very curious if it's actually worth farming this stuff for money or not. Three grand? Probably not. I think you'll get more money out of fishing, definitely. Um, but I don't know about the pearls yet. Apparently, you have a chance of finding pearls when you're deep sea diving. Uh, I haven't found one yet. Uh, but keep in mind, you know, you you might and it might be worth some money. Other than that, I want to see what this mermaid screen looks like that I was given. So let's go ahead and learn that real quick and dive into our DIY recipes. And it looks pretty nice. I mean, that's pretty interesting. Hopefully there's more that he'll give us in the future. Uh, I'm very excited to see what the mermaid stuff looks like. But I'm going to go ahead and spend the rest of the day collecting some more stuff. Uh, this will probably be it for this day. Tomorrow we'll hopefully have a campsite visitor. I will definitely be... In this episode, we'll, we will have a campsite visitor. I promise you guys that. And then hopefully in the next episode, we can start doing some hunts. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. Tell you guys, I'll never get used to Isabel sitting there. I mean, I will. It'll just take some time. Hello there, everyone. Right now on Outset, it's Saturday. Today's announcements... We have a visitor at the campsite. Guess we're going to see who it is. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Outset Island. Welcome back to a day I don't remember. I also don't remember if this is part of a same video or if this is a new episode. Uh, I have a bunch of clips that need to be edited together still, so I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this is a new episode. Uh, I'm about 100% sure. Oh, here's our new wetsuit. Looks so much better, I think, in my mind than the other one. So glad that I ordered that. Let's go ahead and take it off. And, of course, you guys saw in the intro, or the previous clip. <laughs> What's up, Goose? What's up, Goose? You hear that? There's some kind of scary rustling sound coming from behind you, huh? That was just some paper stuck to you? <laughs> wow, I uh, guess my reactions are overdue. Why do I have paper stuck to me? That's questionable. Got the distress emote, that's nice. Um, yeah, you guys saw in the intro or the previous clip that we have a visitor. And I'm going to build a snowman right next to the dying snowman. I wonder if if that is a little, you know, rude. Uh, there we go. Let's go see who our villager is. And it's Klaus. Klaus is going to be our first villager. Pretty cool dude. I really like this villager. Um, not going to take him though. It's not for Zeller. Or not Zeller. It's not for Outset. He's not a wolf. We need wolves, so we're just going to go ahead and leave them. Leave them be. And let's go build that snowman. Alright guys, I'm going to teach you today how to build the perfect snowman. So the secret to building a perfect snowman is rolling the balls around into the snow until they get bigger. And then you have to roll them into the exact right size before stacking them on top of each other. What is the exact right size? I don't know. I was hoping you guys would tell me. <laughs> I'm sure there's videos out there that details it, but I haven't looked any up. So, yeah, I actually don't know the exact right size. We'll see if we can actually hit it today. Uh, that'd be great. 
All right, I'm about to try. I don't know if this will actually go on there or not. It does. Is it perfect? Yo, y'all, it's us, uh, snowboy time. Cool slogan, right? I'm sure everyone will be saying that pretty soon here. You don't seem convinced. Well, maybe I'd better... Uh, maybe I'd have a better slogan if you put a little more into making me cool. This is on you. Man, he just... He yelled at me. Wow. So, those size snowballs are not the snowballs you use, you know? I'm, I'm not really a guy that shows you how to do stuff. I, I show you how not to do stuff. So, use my example. Nook wants me to talk Klaus into moving into Outset. I do not want Klaus to move into Outset. Uh, nothing against Klaus. I like Klaus. But I don't want him in Outset because, you know, he's not a wolf. And I can't do anything yet. Alright, see you guys in a couple minutes. Oh my gosh, there's so much to buy. I'm gonna buy myself my first pet. 870 bells, I will take that in a heartbeat. Uh, let's go ahead and go buy the pots and pans set so we can actually start cooking off, uh, stop, start cooking on things that aren't sticks. If I could, you know, talk, that would be great. And how about the chemistry set, you know, because I can use this to get some, like, transmogration, uh, trans, moderation I, that doesn't sound right uh so i'm transforming potions to start turning my villagers into wolves that'd be great uh still the red and white i heard there's a blue and white striped one as well i haven't seen it yet and no good wallpapers oh well let's keep going uh, i don't know how much we're going to be doing today pretty much going to be my goal is to start filling out the critterpedia uh, get forward. I want to get to the point where I can start building the plots of land. That's the goal for today's video. I want to get plots of lands uh, to start being built so the next video we can start doing hunts uh, for our wolf friends. Hopefully we can start doing that soon. See y'all soon. And there we go. We have some new furniture. I moved the essay set off of this table to go ahead and give us room for our new hamster friend. I got my lab kit all set up, ready to go. I wish it actually did more when you touched it, like, you know, maybe make something fizzle. Oh, it does. I just kept turning it off. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it makes that fizzle. It's pretty cool. I think it could still have done a little bit more. Maybe a kaboom. That would be pretty cool. Oh, well. And then I put our pots and pans over the windows. Why did I put the pots and pans over the window? I don't know. I just kind of felt like it. You know, the same reason why I'm going to put my essay set over the fireplace. Maybe flammable, but, you know, I, I think better in the warmth. See you guys soon. So I was swimming around and it occurred to me that I read something the other day that my wife sent to me. Let me go ahead and grab this. Apparently, if you jump off at the, uh, the dock at the airport, you're able to go past where the... Um, the gates are, you know, the little netting that keeps you in bounds. So we're going to go explore that. We're going to go check that out and see if that's actually true because I'm curious what's actually out there, if anything, or if the water ends up disappearing, you know. Really curious. I know for a fact we probably won't be able to come back out, so we're going to have to save and quit out of there, obviously, but I'm very curious on what's actually there. So let's go check that out real quick. Now, I was told that this gets you out of bounds. I don't know how it will. Um, because you could just swim around it. That's just what it said online. So I'm very curious on if it's actually true. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, a crab. That's cool. A Dungeness crab. I'll take it. That's a new one. Yeah, let's just keep swimming down until we hit the mesh or don't. Oh, there's mesh here. I don't know what these people were talking about. I think I'm going to have to go back and read up on it. Uh, but from what I read, if you jump off at the airport dock, you can swim away from the netting, which doesn't seem plausible. Unless they mean on a Nook Island tour. Let's go see. I don't know. It doesn't seem plausible but that this would be what they're talking about either. Uh, let's see. I doubt it. And if it was a glitch, uh, like the people were saying inside of the, well, on Facebook where I read it, uh, I don't think it is anymore. And if it was, it's definitely been fixed. As you can see, I can't get through. So, I mean, if they fixed it already, good on Nintendo. And good on the Animal Crossing team for hurrying up to fix a bug like that. 
Uh, but yeah, let's keep collecting some stuff underwater, fill out that Critterpedia. I really need to have a fishing day and a bug catching day because I'm sure I'm missing a lot of bugs for July in both Zeller Isle and Outset. So I really need to get to that. Um, yeah, see you guys soon. All right, guys, let's mourn. I have to bring Klaus into Outset Isle. Uh, I did some reading, and apparently this campsite, the first one, does not switch out the villager. And you have to invite this camper to progress the story. And uh, So we're looking at, what, six villagers? And not a single one of them is a wolf. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, gonna, we're looking at six villagers. That's over half our villagers. Man, I can't believe I haven't opened the map yet. <laughs> okay, I get it. Let me out. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and invite Klaus, unfortunately. Yada, yada, yada. It almost kind of makes me think about moving here. You should live here. Wow, I'm honored. An exclusive invitation from the exclusive island for celebrities and entourages. There's this one little thing. I'd hate for it to be so exclusive that it's just me. Can you go check with, like, the VIP manager of the whole island first, just so I know that this is legit? Sure. Guten Tag. My fate is in your hands. Haha, <laughs> so I guess I gotta go talk to Nook, even though I am the resident representative. I'm the VIP guy, but... Whatever, let's go talk to Nook. Your senses tell you that I've been to see the guests at the campsite, or your spy drones, because you never leave this... Well, your Nook. Nook? <laughs> How did it go? He unfortunately wants to live here. What? Really? Keldon, you've done did it. <laughs> you've done did it. You've done it. That was a weird stammer. I added in a word there. And so quickly, then this must... Uh, this means we have no time to waste. Hmm, our next course of action will be building a new home. Now, Keldon, since you ch uh, closed the deal with our visitor, you should be the one to pick the location for a new home. Yeah, leave it to me. Thank you, Keldon. I knew you would agree to it. We'll need a housing kit to set aside a plot for their home, so I'll give you that now. So this is where we're going to start unlocking the housing kits to get the land to start doing villager hunts. So, you know, we'll take the good with the bad. It's in your belongings, well then off you go. So let's go pick a house for Klaus. Klaus's house is sold and plotted. There we go. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm kind of clumping everybody together. The reasoning for that is so that, well, I don't know, so they're kind of out of the way when we start des designing some stuff and building up the area a bit. Uh, I think, I no, man, I put everybody up there. I should have put them down here. Oh, well. Mistakes were made. I think it was because the plot for the three houses you had to build was just so much bigger than what the normal houses are. Uh, so I had to spread those out. But I'm trying to keep them semi-clumped together right now. Ah, Keldon, welcome back. Well, did you find a place to build a new home? Of course, you know, i done almost all the work here. Fine news indeed. We don't want to keep our customer waiting, so I'll proceed with the construction. Uh, we want our new island friends to start their lives here as quickly as possible, after all. Hmm, this has got me thinking. We can't predict when someone will want to move here, but scrambling to secure a plot only when the need arises is much too haphazard a way of doing business. Ah, yes, of course. As part of improving infrastructure, we'll set aside plots in advance and put them up for sale. I'll have to charge a small processing fee. But if we have a buyer who moves in, I'll give you miles as a reward. So let me get this straight. Let's think about this for a second. Nook wants this island to grow. And he's going to charge me money to grow it. How does that make sense? Like, that, that's just... What? <laughs> I mean, I understand charging the people that move in, but charging me? Keldon, I do hope I can count on you for your help again. That... that <sighs> ah, Nook. All right, can I can I put some stuff down yet? Let's talk infrastructure. Let's chat. I want to sell some land. Oh, so you want to prep some land for home? Ten thousand bells. Yes, I sure will. Here's ten thousand bells. Thanks for the the useless miles. Well, they're not useless right now. Uh, so I got the house kit. You guys know what that means. Next episode on Thursday is going to be a hunt. I'm very excited for them. I really like the hunt, so I'll actually probably do it now and have it prepped for Thursday. That would be uh, pretty cool as well. Um, 
Is there anything else really to do today? I don't know. Let's go look. Is Klaus moved in already? No. So that's good. So he's still got to move in before our next house uh, plot moves in. So I'm going to go ahead and set this plot up probably right next to this one. Let's go ahead and dig up that fossil. Fossil! So I'm curious on when I can start inviting amiibos in. Oh, man. Uh, mainly because I want to invite Doby in. Because we have Doby's amiibo card, so we can get Doby in. And honestly, if we find Doby on a hunt, I'm going to be sad. Very, very sad. Alright, got to come down a little bit because I want everything aligning. I'm not going to be sad because we found Doby, because I love Doby. I'm going to be sad because we have his amiibo card and we find him. So, there we go. Oh, for those of you wondering about the Etsy cards I was saying I was going to review, uh, they actually didn't show up. I had to get a refund uh, because they did not come. Uh, so the reason we passed up on Marshall for the amiibo card, and we didn't actually, we're not actually getting it. That's very disappointing, but you know, it is what it is. Zeller Isle is still pretty cool without Marshall, so. All right, let's pick that fossil back up. And we got a house ready to start hunting. I will see you guys then. I think that's going to be it for today. I will see you guys tonight uh, when actually we actually uh, end the video. But I think that this is about it. It's been a pretty productive day. We got the campsite. We got Klaus. We got some Critterpedia updates. Got a villager hunt to do. Uh, one thing I want to see, though. Where's my resident services building? It's right up here. One thing I want to see. As of right now, it's a big fat no-go. We cannot invite amiibos yet. I don't know when that actually unlocks. Hopefully it'll unlock soon. But that's what I wanted to check out. So, like the person that I am, I forgot to film an intro for this, or an outro for this video. Uh, so I'm going to do that real quick, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. All the way up until this point. We had a great time. Uh, so you get to be blessed with Bunny Keldon. Or, you know my foolishness <laughs> so sorry for not forgetting to film the outro uh thank you guys so much for watching if you liked the video please leave me a like down below thumbs down if you didn't of course subscribe if you haven't already and you want to support what we do here at the channel ding the notification bell if you want to be notified of future content as i post it you'll be up to date with the channel with giveaways and everything else of the like so do consider to do that if you want to uh, if you want to support the channel a like goes a long way if you want to support it a little bit more we have a merch store down in the description below if you're interested we have a couple t-shirts a couple hoodies some face masks so check that out if you're interested other than that guys once again thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next video